So in this problem, we have Sam who's averaged 87 on the first three tests and is trying to see is it possible to get up to a 90% what would need to be done the fourth test. So there's a couple ways we could do this problem. One way is the whole idea with those blocks was the idea of an average is where every value is the same. So we're trying to level off and make them all the same size. So if I think about it, an average of 87 means that if I wanted to, I could just say those first three tests were 87. Now I know that the fourth test would need to at least start at a 90, but I gotta figure out, well, what do I need to do to the other three tests to make them also become 90? And what I see here is I would have to add three to make this one become 90. So I'm gonna add three to what I would need for the fourth test. I'm gonna add 3 to the second test to make it become 90, so I'd have to add 3 to that final one. And I add 3 here to the third test, which tells me that for this to happen, that I have enough value to distribute across the other three tests, I would need to score 99%. Kind of hard, but it is possible. The other method I could do is I could actually use the formula for mean. So I could say that the mean I want is 90, I know that I'm going to do four tests. My first three, since the average was 87, I can just plug in 87 for each of those three tests that I have. And I only have one more test, so I only need one X. And I can cross multiply and solve this, and I'll still end up at the same place of an 89. So here, just to help reiterate what I would do, I'd multiply both sides by four and that would cancel here, and I'd be left with 360 equals 261 plus x, so x would equal 99. Now let's look at the other problem, which was asking, is it possible to get uh, the fourth test to get to a 93%? So if we start with the, the same idea of trying to level everything, I'm at 87s, now, I'm at a 93 for the fourth test. Well, what do I have to do for each of the others? This one would have to get six more points. So, I've got to add six to that fourth test. This one needs six more points to get up to 93. So, I've got to add six points to that fourth test. And this one would also need six more points. So, I'd have to add six points to that last test. That's 111%. Now, Unless you have a teacher that's giving you a tons of extra credit, that's not going to be very likely. I can use the mean formula as well here. So what I know is that 93% is the mean I want, and I know that it's going to be four tests. And I know since, again, the first three had an average of 87, I can just use 87 as that number, and I need that fourth test, which I don't know. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 4 so that my denominator disappears. This gets me to 372 equals 261 plus x, which means that again, x is 111. So either method, I'll end up at the same place. So it's a matter of becoming comfortable and understanding how do they work and if one may give you a little bit better understanding as you're working through the problems. Now let's look at this problem, pick it up a little bit, because now you're dealing with not just one extra item, but three. So here we have Tammy's average income of being $25,000 over four years, and then Tammy's annual income over the next three years to raise it all over that seven year period to be 28,000. So if we draw out what's going on, we know that we have 25,000. We can just say at the first five, year or four years are twenty five thousands and then we need to figure out these last three years we don't know what they are but this can kind of help you understand well what's going on like just just like we said that the average of the first four years was twenty five thousand so we can put twenty five thousand in for each of them we can do the same thing with the last three years we know it's the average of some value. So 
all three of those could be the exact same value. So one way to do it is to say, oh, well, if I take all this information and put my plus symbols in there, if I'm going to sum up all these parts and divide by the seven years, I know that this has to equal the 28,000 I'm hoping to get. Okay, so then I have back to the mean exactly what I've been trying to do. So I would multiply both sides by 7. Now see that would cancel my 7's here. This would leave me with 100,000 plus 3x equals 196,000. So then 3x would equal 96,000. And when I divide both sides by 3, I'm left with the fact that I would need to average $32,000 each year over the next three years. So that's one way I could do it. The other way I could go back to the, the leveling idea. And I could say that here's my 25,000s. Because I just got to pay attention to one small aspect that's a little different because of how many years I'm looking at. So then that's the first year. I know I want to get up to 28,000. So I'm going to put my 28,000s here. And I got to remember there's three of those. That's important. So I say, well, what's it take to get the, each of these 25,000s up to 28,000? Well, this one's going to need 3,000. This one's going to need 3,000. This one's going to need 3,000. And this one's going to need 3,000 which means that overall I need to add $12,000 to the three years I have. Well, if I'm taking $12,000 and I'm going to split it over three years, $12,000 divided by three would mean that for each of these years, I would give $4,000. And that's the same amount it's just easier to recognize then that each year would be averaging around $32,000. Okay, so two different ways to go about solving the same problem. Because the 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, so still adding that same amount over. Alright, so then we get to the problems of examining how mean and median can relate to one another. So the first thing to recognize is I have 10 students, an average score of 8, and the highest I can get is a 10 on the test. So if my, I, so if I think about the sum of my points, I know that the sum over the number of students is going to equal 8. This means that my sum has to equal 80 total points. So I've got to figure out how to spread my 80 points. And I want to know, can the median be 10? So I've got 10 values, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now because I have an even number of values, I know that my 5th and 6th value would have to be 10 for this to be the median. Now I have to figure out, well, how can I plug in my other values? I can't go over 80. That's where I'm stuck. So I've got to make sure I'm at 80 to make the average stay at 8. Well, since 10 is are these two values here, these have to be 10 as well because it's a 10-point test. Because I'm doing the median, I can't be lower than my median, So, but I can be exactly the same. So... Right there, if I add up all those points I have, that's 60 points. So now it's a matter of, can I put something in here that would add up to only 20 points? And the answer is yes. I could make a lot of different things. I could go 5, 5, 5, and 5. That would work. All four of those other students could have scored 5s. Or maybe this person got a 1 and this person got a 9, 
and maybe this person got a 2, and this person got an 8. So there's tons of options as to what could be done. So yes, it is possible. So let's take that same idea down here to could I have a median of 5? So again, I need my 10 spots. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, just like before, I know that the 5th and 6th century would have to be 5s because my median has to be a 5. So then it's a matter of can I go through and get uh, to the point of getting an, a mean of 8? So the first thing I have to recognize, i got to get to 80 points still. So I need to get as many points as fast as possible. And the easiest way to make that happen would be to put in 10s. Because I need to maximize all my points everywhere else. And if I add up what I have here, now I have... 50 points. And then I gotta say, well, I have to come up somehow with 30 points right here. But if you think back to what we just said a second ago, if I plug in 5, 10, 15, 20, that's the absolute highest value I can do because my median is 5. So this is only. 20 points, I can't get up to 30. So no, this isn't possible because the values below the median can't give me enough points to get to the total of 80. Now here this builds on a very similar type of idea where I've got five children and I know my median is eight and I want to maximize my score. So if I want to maximize my score I know my median is 18, so I plug in the 18. I want to say, well, what's the maximum do? Well, it's a 20-point test, so I want to make these two students be as high as absolutely possible. And then I want to say, well, how high can I go if my median is 18? Well, if my median is 18, I can either be below 18 or exactly that number. So being exactly that number will give me the most number of points possible in this problem. So I'd want to make the first three numbers be 18 and the last two numbers be 20. I have my median of 18 and I can't get any more points than that. If I think about my lowest and do the same thing here, I know that my median is 18 still. Now think about what's the absolute lowest score I could score. That's what I want to be my left two values. I want them to be as low as absolutely possible. Well, it could be that you got nothing right. You missed all 20 points. But then I think about the right side. I want to get my right side to be as low as possible. And for that to be the case, I have to be greater than 18 or I could be exactly 18. So in that case, the five scores have to be two zeros and three 18s.